Can we use genetically modified bacteria to eat all their plastic trash? It's true. Some organisms have learned to eat the plastic we've dumped in our environment, but that doesn't mean they're very good at it. It took bacteria close to seven weeks to break down a two centimeter long piece of plastic film. Instead, scientists want to use plastic eaters for recycling because their enzymes break down plastic polymers into monomers, which can be used again. That's a huge departure from current recycling, which always requires some virgin plastic to maintain quality. To do this, scientists have genetically modified the bacteria, or rather its enzymes, to be more efficient. But we can't just release our mutant bacteria back into the environment. Most countries have laws against that. Scientists haven't walked away from finding a bacteria that can solve our plastic problem. There's potentially a trillion species of bacteria out there, and most of them are unknown. There's always a chance that at least one of them can break down plastic quickly without us tinkering with its genes. 